Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I'm just doing the sunflower nails. I've been wanting to do this for a really long time, but for some reason I couldn't like muster the the courage to get up and do it. Um, if you guys follow me on TikTok or Instagram, you know that I have not been posting recently. That's just because I've been feeling like a little bit of creative block. But I'm finally back to it and I'm so happy that they came out the way they did. So I'm just going to be talking just a little bit in this video to show you guys how I did things and what products I've used. Um, of course, I used the Valentino Beauty Pure line because that is the, I bought the entire line. So I am using it until maybe I run out. I don't know. But um, I just got this new dust collector that you see me using from Amazon. I'll put the link in the description below for that. Also, my tips are from, where are my tips from? Good grief, I forgot. Wait, wait, wait. I can't think, but it will be in the description below. I promise. And the hand is from Red Iguana. The practice hand is from Red Iguana. Um, these are C-curve tips. Um, super easy to use. Don't have to do much shaping because the C-curve, they already come that shape. So you see, I'll do just a tiny bit of filing, not too much. I just thought it was a lot easier to use. Wanted to give myself a break. Even though I've given myself two <laughs> two weeks of a break, I feel like, or a month. I don't know when the last time I posted on YouTube. And I'm so sorry about that, guys. I just needed a mental break. All right, so we're filing. File is from Amazon. Um, I'm just going to sharpen it up a little bit, the shape. Sorry, guys, my cat is, like, climbing on me. I'm doing a voiceover right now because when I do do my nails or do nails or practice nails, I'm always playing music in the background. So just doing a voiceover, make it easier. But yeah, following that, um, the first step, I'm going to be doing regular application with colored acrylic from Valentino. I'm using the yellow and the black for the sunflower, like for the own base. chalky and marbly I don't know it just was really hard to work with the monomer I'm using is CND retention monomer um I put up on my TikTok about two weeks ago or three weeks ago about how I had an allergic reaction just from doing my own nails way too much and I realized it was from the monomer uh that I was using from Valentino Beauty Pure it wasn't necessarily the product it's just Monomer is not supposed to touch your skin, so when you know how to do nails correctly, usually won't. So because I'm a beginner and practicing so much on myself, I did have an allergic reaction. So then I switched monomers after I took time off from doing my own nails. I switched monomers, and I really do like it. It still works well with the acrylic powder. But yeah, this Valentino Beauty Pure, this um, this acrylic right here. This yellow one was super chalky, like just so hard to use. I was getting really annoyed with it. I tried my best, 
I was just super irritated. My brush is um, size what brush? Size 16, by the way, a panda brush from Amazon. I almost wanted to give up. Um, I wanted to give up with this yellow and like just do a clear base and then do a gel polish over it. But maybe I'll do that. Say if I do get a customer who wants this, I'm going to do that because this was ridiculous. I do not recommend. Okay, so the black was much smoother, had a much better consistency. Um, yeah, it just was much better than I remember when I first uh, used it, but I do like it. So easy to maneuver.
Okay, guys, so I'm just taking my, uh, my what is it, my e-file right now on top of my brand new duster, woohoo! But I'm just taking it and smoothing the acrylic out because, as you can see, the yellow is super lumpy. It just, it was really hard to use. So I just have to do a lot of damage control with that. But I'm using, this bit is from Amazon. This one is separate. It didn't come with the e-file, so I had to buy them separately. The e-file came with it with its own bits, but I don't really use those as much. I, I wanted this like metal one. I need to know the names of these things, but I wanted this one specifically. Okay, so after I finish with that bit, then I go in with my sanding band to get an even better, give even more of a smooth layer. Then I use my file to finish it out, try to straighten up those sidewalls a lot more. I am getting a lot better at applying acrylic and keeping the shape so I don't have to do much to the sidewalls, but I do want them completely straight. <music> Okay, so now I'm using a lint-free wipe, sprayed some acrylic, um, some alcohol on it. Sorry, nail popped out. But I sprayed some alcohol on it, and um, I'm wiping the hand because these hands like collect a lot of dust. So I just want to, while I wipe the nail, also wipe the hands as well. Usually, you would send your client to go wash their hands. You know what I mean? Get all the dust off. But this is what you have to do. Okay, so here I am using rhinestones that I purchased on Amazon. They're actually like the champagne rhinestones, I'm pretty sure. Or rose gold. Champagne and rose gold, one of those. And I'm using the Marquette glue. Ma Ma Macart, sorry. <laughs> I don't know what just happened there. Macart glue to glue them on. <laughs>
Okay, so here's the part you've all been waiting for. So I'm using for the sunflower stems, I'm going to be dipping it in the yellow and dipping it in the brown just so it can have a bit of a more realistic look, like an ombre look. I did see this technique on um, V Nailed It. She's like the main person that I watch, one of the main people I watch because she's just so talented. Uh, so I'm doing my stems, or what is it, what do you call it, the petals, petals. I'm making my petals with a size 2 brush from Amazon, a 3D nail art brush, it's size 2. In this pack, size 2, 4, and something else, I can't remember the other one. But yeah, I feel like 2 is the perfect, perfect size to pick up the, this, um, petals. To pick up a, like, a small enough bead for a petal.
okay, so I'm going to actually leave all the... I want them to be matte. Like, uh, I usually do shiny on everything, but this is my first time really doing a matte look. So I'm putting matte on the nails. For the sunflower nails, I want to get it in between. I don't want to put it on the uh, actual sunflower. Not that it will change it if I did. I know if I did top, uh, top coat, like a gloss top coat, a shiny top coat, it would definitely change that texture. But I just wanted to, you know, put it all around it. Really get that ashy black, like, perfectly matte. You know what I mean? And then I'm using Valentino Beauty Pure's matte top coat. It's non-wipe. So, guys, before you see the actual results, you've seen it at the beginning of the video anyway, but if you have not subscribed to my channel, make sure you do. Um, hit the notification bell so that you never miss an upload. I promise I will not take a long break like that again. I will be posting a lot more. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs>